From the horseshoe, of course, an old buddy, Mike Brable. Mike Brable and Arch Griffin right there, the only two-time Heisman Trophy winner on the sideline. Mike's got an open date. We come out here, Niall Diggs, watch him, number 32. What a ball game he played. Really, really happy with the way he's playing. He and Jerry Rosinski and, and of course, Andy Katzenmoyer give, uh, give us three real good linebackers. Damon Moore, good stick right there. That's a third down play, forces them into a punting situation early in the ball game. Pass is working okay, though, early despite the weather. Uh, yeah, good protection. Got the ball down the field. That's a boy, that's a fine catch by D. Miller. The ball thrown a little bit behind him, but number 15 had his best ball game of the year. Here's a good call. We got a little uh, Joe pulls the ball down and runs. And notice this week we worked on this. Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. <laughs> that's a good, that's that's a nice way to move the chains. That's a good uh, good first down. Kept it tucked as well. Pickup of 22. A little disappointed. We work hard on field goals, and uh, Danny kicked the ball pretty well uh, dur during the week of practice. I thought he kicked it excellent during practice and, and hit the ball good there, but just a little bit wide. It's a good play here. They're running back number 32, Mitchell's a good football player. Good tackle right there by number 19, a mid plumber. 34 yards on the pickup for Mitchell. Now we get tough on defense. Here we go. Boy, defensive line. I thought right there, Ryan Pickett, number 76, Jerry Rosinski, 35, Joe Brown, number 73. I thought the defensive line played their best ball game also. Shut down their running game. Lost of five on that play. Here's Plummer. Little third down play. You throw the ball out there in a the flat and you got to close on it. Number 19, put a clinic on. No score after the first quarter. Good to have the students back. I thought the crowd really helped us in the ball game. Here we're throwing the ball down the field to, to David. David Boston got behind their defensive back. They actually forced him out of bounds. David came back in, alertly came back in, made the play. Pickup of 29, big play there. That's good pass protection. Watch our fullback step up and take the linebacker on. There's a, again, that's a third down conversion. We were good. We were eight out of 18 on third down conversions. High snap from center, and uh, you cannot hold your block that long. That's a, that, that was the high snap from center resulted in a block field goal. Again, I'm really proud of the way our defense rose to the occasion right here and, 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 and took the fire away from Penn State. Good interception. Now that's a third down play, I'm sorry, and they got the first down, and you're going to see a defense really rise to the occasion. They get a, they're going to kick a field goal out of this drive. Jonas Stasi picked up 22 yards on that pass play, and then the 42-yard field goal is good and a 3 to nothing lead. Put them on top 3 to nothing. Our defense is going to come out right here. Watch Jerry Rosinski. This is a great play by Jerry Rosinski, outside linebacker. Captain Jerry Rosinski right there out from Dayton. Not only did he, did he make the tackle, force a, force a fumble, he recovered the ball in the end zone for a touchdown. It's good to score on defense. It was either going to be a safety or a touchdown, one or the other. He got the seven. That was a good call also by defensive coaches. They, 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 had, they had a few tendencies. We recognized what they were doing from that formation. Damon Moore comes up there and fills the gap, makes a nice play. It's a good little roll out here, little, little misdirection pass play. And again, D. Miller came up with a big catch. This is right before halftime, a key play coming up here. Again, this is a fourth down play. Hitting D. Miller down the middle, breaks a tackle, move the chains, first down. You're in two-minute offense We're right now. We're in two-minute offense right now. Joe Germain is running, running the football team, and here we come back at D. Miller again down the middle. And uh, you're going to see Michael Wiley coming out of the backfield, I believe, on this next play here for a great call by Mike Jacobs up in the press box and a well-executed play. There's Michael. Got the safety a little bit off the hash. We'll talk about this play a little bit later on in the show, but that's, that's a, that's a well-executed play. 14 to 3 at halftime. 28 seconds left in the half, and that, uh, you know, could have been a bit of a backbreaker there, but 14 3, nothing to, of course, uh, sit back on. It's a big, a big play because uh, Penn State won the toss and, and deferred, so we knew they were going to get the second half kickoff. So I think that was a real big play right before halftime, and it started to rain pretty hard. When mm -hmm. we came out the second half, it was raining pretty good. So, you know, that 14 3 lead, uh, you know, it wasn't real safe, but. A lot better than 7-3. Coaches adjust on the fly in the first half. You're pretty happy with that. Did you say anything or do anything at halftime? Were you concerned with anything? Our, our coaches do a great job, Jeff, at halftime adjustments. There's no question about it. Offensively and defensively, we got together and talked about what we had to do to win the game. We knew special teams had to rise to the occasion. We worked real hard on that. So I thought, I thought we did a nice job making some adjustments at halftime and, and pretty much controlled the tempo of the game in the second half. I smell second half highlights. We've got a defensive touchdown. We've got an offensive touchdown. And you alluded to the special teams. You'll have to wait. Coming up next, we'll have second half highlights. Stick around on Buckeye Football Weekly. Uh, the completion doesn't go very far. Our, our linebackers, all three of those linebackers played well. Here's a, here we got an open field tackle, tackle right there by Andy, Andy Katzenmoyer. Andy and, and Niall and Jerry, all three got excellent speed. They're well coached. I thought, I thought our defense, what's this? You're talking about a good call. Brought Damon, the farm there. Damon Moore. We all over the quarterback and Damon Moore made Damon had a real good ball game. Here's a key play. Percy King. You never hear, you never hear anything about Percy King, number 17. He's one of those players from 
right here in Columbus, Ohio, that works hard in practice. Uh, he's a backup uh, defensive back. Coach Jim Haycock coaches that punt block unit, and that's a nice job right there. Good touchdown. Joe Cooper with the recovery for the touchdown. Ball's a little bit underthrown, and I'll tell you right now, number 27 is a good football player. I told him after the game, I think number 27 and number 11 for us are two All-American football players. Jump ball, jump ball situation. Their, their wide receiver, I, that looked like it should have been a touchdown. Their wide receiver made a great play, number 21, just took the ball away from our defensive back. Didn't give him the touchdown, but right after that, Penn State does take it in, so now we've got a ball game. We got a ball game, Jeff, and it's important for us to come back offensively and 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 get the momentum back. And uh, the de defense, the, 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 here's a uh, ball thrown up in the air, and again, a mid plumber makes a great interception, gives the offense good field position. We're going to take this one right down and put the ball in the end zone, and put the game away. Plumbers are really having a great year for us. Number 19. Here's a play action pass down the uh, down the left sideline there to D Miller, and D made a great catch. He was wide open. Joe got hit just as he released the football. Otherwise, I think that would have been a touchdown. And uh, this is a good play here by, by Joe Montgomery, number 33. Put the ball in the end zone, Joe. <laughs> I thought he was in right there. He, uh, I think it was a good call. From the sideline, I thought he was in. Looking at the replay, I thought it was a good call. But this is a fine run here. Runs over number 24, Joe Montgomery, number 33, having a good year. Joe and Michael give us a, a combination of a couple of real good running backs. At that point, it's 28 to 9 in this ball game. Penn State takes the ball back on offense. They're going to have a tough time scoring three touchdowns on us. And again, that's Niall Diggs. They threw a little, little swing pattern. And the linebackers got those backs coming out of the backfield. Man coverage, a good job. Diggs again, on the tackle. Brent Johnson, a great game. Brent Johnson had a good game. He had his best ball game. That's uh, Rodney Bailey, number 94. Brent Johnson, number 60. I mentioned that defensive front. I thought that's the best they've played so far this year. Against a good football team. Now you see a Med Plummer. He nearly puts this one on ice. And Andy, Andy was blitzing on that particular <laughs> play and put the he really put a good hit on their quarterback. They bring in the rookie quarterback here, the, the second year quarterback now. Uh, he didn't look like he was going to beat us throwing the football. And they, of course they had to throw the ball and our defense really got after. It. That's a good effort by the defense. We got Ryan Pickett, Joe Brown. Here comes the linebacker blitz and the, and the quarterback has to throw the ball away. Good coverage in the second. Game. Pretty much a lookout play there and again. See, that's a third down play. Throw the ball out in the flat, and then Plummer makes a tackle. You know, no gain or even a, even a couple yards lost right there. 28 to 9, and that's a very, very satisfying victory over a good football team. Anytime you beat a Joe Paterno coach football team, you, you, it's, a, it's a good effort by your football team. Absolutely. Anybody with 300 wins, it's, uh, it's okay to be on the winning side of that one. 28 to 9, the final. Um, like you said, satisfied about this one. Let's go back to a point in the ball game, 21 to 3. Any complacency as Penn State drives and they get that jump ball for the touchdown at that point to make it another ball game? No, not at all. I thought, again, give Penn State credit. That's a good football team. I told Coach Paterno after the ball game, they play the rest of the year like they played against us. They're not going to lose many games. Same way Missouri. Missouri is a good, solid football team we beat two weeks ago. But uh, I, I thought it was, I thought it was some, some bodies flying around, a good, obviously a defensive ball game because of the weather conditions. But I thought it was a good football game between two real good college football teams. As a coach, you break things down into uh, three segments, right? Is it offense, defense, and special teams? And look at what you did. It's, 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 really, it's really special teams, defense, <laughs> and then offense is what it is. And our special teams really helped us. Again, we worked real hard on that in practice. We got a, a block kick for a touchdown. Kenyon Rambo made a real nice punt return right before halftime, set up the second touchdown. So I think special teams really helped us. Now, we missed a couple field goals, and we'll work on that in practice this week. But I thought special teams made a big improvement between the Missouri game and, and the, the Penn State game. All right, up next, Coach Cooper will uh, take out the pen and get into the play illustration segment. Stay with us on Buckeye Football Weekly.